Hello everyone, this is Ashfaq Ahmed and I work in the field of bioinformatics and structural biology. In our last video, I have covered a complete tutorial of autodocrina and I hope you will be able to perform your own docking in offline mode using autodocrina. After that, I have received certain questions from students like how to generate a PDB complex file from the Wiener result also how to generate a complete report of the energy of the docking result which is run by you also I will teach you few more simpler uh, kind of tricks to use Autodoc it will be a shorter video, uh, probably less than 10 minutes. So let's start quickly. Uh, what I mean, uh, the question I received, like uh, I want to store a complete result from docking run. So how can I do it? So we will cover this. The second I question I received, like how can I generate a PDB complex file? for further analysis like visualization and, and interaction from the PDB QT results which is generated in Autodoc Wiener. Third, I will show you two tricks and those tricks are about how to increase or decrease the binding modes or uh, how to decrease or increase Autodoc Wiener speed using your own computer. So let's start. I will not repeat the whole procedure of docking. We have already covered in our previous video. Here I will just repeat this. I will just teach you these three or four tricks. So let's start. Our files are present here as we uh, performed last time in this directory 123 this was our ligand pdbqt file we prepared in our last video this is our protein file in pdbqt uh, format we also prepared this one in our last video this is the vena and this is the configuration file so uh, I'm going to run it quickly with certain modification I will copy the path as I discussed in my last video okay now we are here I can check yes we are in the same directory now I will type Vina as we did last time then config the argument my configuration file name is here conf.txt now my result file I will write with double dash out then my result I will name it uh, let's say result dot pdb qt okay this was our last uh, th this this was our main script which we run in our last video that's okay now here i will increase two more things for you or you can say three more things and then i will explain what it did okay I will uh, include double dash log and then I will write report dot txt this is one thing I have included I will also include another thing like CPU and I will make I will enter 4 I will also include another thing let's say double dot uh, double dash 
number num underscore moods then space and I will say two okay make it three now if you can see I have included three more things this argument will generate a complete report of this docking run uh, for this CPU argument for example you are using Core i7 so of course you have more cores in your computer so why not use all of them if you are using some workstation which has more cores or parallel processing so why not use majority of them to make your docking speed increase or decrease and this is also an important for example uh, you want to run it come quickly so normally we, we observed in our last video that in default setting or in normal setting Autodoc will produce nine poses here we have asked Autodoc to generate or to just produce three poses do not go for nine poses so we will receive energy for three poses not nine poses so this is up to you to increase from nine or to decrease from nine or to keep it on the default level which is nine the CPU argument is also for you if you want to use it you can exploit it the report argument is new I did not discuss in my last video so let's see now it says that um, analyzing the binding side okay last time it has generated nine energies for nine different poses this time it will generate three poses are three energies why because I have asked them just to generate energy for three poses you can see one two three so we will I will finish I, I will quickly close this now see this is our result PDB uh, weird here result PDB QT last time we have also generated this now this time we have generated another report kind of thing this you can use it uh, very effectively last time it was not generated so all the energies and things are copied here in this report you can keep it uh, with yourself for further uh, stuffs or for further studies okay and next thing uh, it we have generated three poses so I have uh, shown you two tricks and I have also covered how to generate a complete report now finally I'm going to teach you how to generate a PDB complex so that is uh, simple okay we can generate three PDB complexes here because we have three poses from the dark file so first of all you need to open the protein in PDB format which is present in the same directory here is the protein now I will generate the result uh, I will open the result file which we generated just now here and you can see here it contains three poses because we have generated three poses so if you want to check it this is pose 1 this is pose 2 this is pose 3 that's it so if I want to save this pose 1 in PDB format that is very simple open the same as a, as I did in the Pymol this is the Pymol window if you cannot see the sequence just display sequence you will see the sequence of your protein and your ligand the next thing you need to do just to select the whole sequence of protein I'm showing you
here we are now also select click this so you have another new tab we have already discussed this silly or it stands for selection now from here file export molecule here you will see selection enabled you need to click here and click the silly option that's it now save it I will save it in the same directory with the name pose one and select here PDB okay the similar way you can generate another pose another PDB just click here now select here the this one is already selected and you can save it okay now I want to see that whether we have uh, saved it a correct pose one or not so just click here pose one I will open it in discovery studio doesn't matter most of you have the discovery studio also so I thought why not to show it there otherwise you can also open it in Pi mode okay this is your uh, protein with your ligand you can see here this is A for protein B chain is for your ligand here that's it I hope you will like uh, these kinds of things now you can use uh, this file for your interaction study and other stuff if you like my videos if you like uh, these stuffs please support this channel by subscribing and watching thank you very much bye bye